Hey y'all, welcome to my channel. Shamise Latiara. Um, this is another segment of interesting finds. If you need to know what that is or you don't know what that means, um, check out my second video. This is like the third video that I posted, so I don't have many up right now. So the other two are just like an introduction video. And then my second one, I kind of give a, um, I do a Dollar General haul. Um, and then also, I just explained what interesting finds is, so please check that out. Also, make sure that you like and subscribe, and definitely comment if you like the video, or even if you don't like it, but don't be, don't be like an ass in the comments. You know, I, I accept all feedback, but don't be an ass. Um, but yeah, so in this interesting find, I actually, y'all... Let's just probably get through this video without any problems because this is actually like my third or I think this is like my third or fourth time trying to record this video. I started last night and today is like the 24th. I started last night. I recorded twice, but I couldn't even upload it. So I just said, you know what? I'm just going to try again today, which I'm doing right now. Um, I tried to record earlier, but I had to attend to my son. He just like wants all, all of my attention. So Hopefully he's good for these next 20, 15, 20 minutes so I can get through this video. Um, I'm actually going to um, divide this video up and maybe do like a part two. Because I went to Dollar General twice this week. Um, I went yesterday and today. I think that was yesterday. But nevertheless, I went twice this week. And um, yeah, it had to be yesterday because today is Monday. So... So yeah, um, I'm going to divide this up and in this video, I'm going to talk about some of the beauty products that I picked up. And then in my next video, um, I'm just going to be talking about some of like the, the um, household products that I got. Um, before I get into this video though, um, I do want to say that like picking out this stuff or like going to Dollar Tree, I was just thinking to myself like, it sounds weird to say this because you don't really, I guess shop at dollar stores if that makes sense but i think that i actually want to start shopping at dollar tree and it's not that i haven't shopped there before but i'm just saying like on a regular um because i've noticed that some of the stuff that i find in other other stores i can get them at dollar tree for a lot cheaper but i have noticed that um sometimes you could find stuff in dollar tree that are in other stores they just might be like a different version or like like a generic kind or they might just be like a smaller portion of it. Um, for example, um, I'm going to go get it right quick. Okay. So for example, sorry y'all, I should have got this earlier. But um, for example, um, I wanted to try this thing to kind of like organize the refrigerator. So is this basically you put like your bottle of water in it, or you could put like soda cans in it. And I always get like a, a lot of bottled water and a lot of like sparkling water, like the cans also. So I thought this would be a good add. Um. So this is the one I actually got from Dollar Tree. And as you can see, it's a good size. It's pretty good. The one I got from, I, the one, well, I got this after the fact, but I got one off of Amazon that is bigger than this. And it's a lot thicker than this. So it's almost like glass, but it's not really glass. And obviously it costs more. But after I bought it, I found this in Dollar Tree. And I was like, dang, if I would have just waited and looked at Dollar Tree, I could have got this for a dollar. And that could have been it. I could have saved some money. But as you can see, this is definitely a lot smaller. I will only be able to put cans in here. And I don't always get the cans of sparkling water. So I just end up getting both of them. So that's an example I'm talking about. And there's some other stuff that I saw in Dollar Tree that I def will... Um, Think about getting there more often rather than getting from like Walmart and stuff like that. Um, 
The other thing I wanted to talk about, I posted this in, um, oh, by the way, I did post some pictures on my Instagram story just about, um, I posted some pictures of things that I think I might go back and get from Dollar Tree, but I didn't get at the moment. Obviously, those will not be up by the time I post this. So if you do want to know what those things are, I could do, I could either do another YouTube video or I could just post them on my Instagram feed for you all to just go and look at my page and see. Um, just let me know. But I did post this on my Instagram story one time just talking about some of the stuff that I got from Dollar Tree. Um, this is a body polish. And it has coconut oil and sea salt in it. So I don't know. I don't. For some reason when I first picked it up I thought it said scrub. Um, and I'm not sure if there is like a difference between a body polish and a scrub. In my mind, it's the same thing, but I'm not sure if it's like a technical difference or something like that. But the point I'm trying to make is that um, when I picked it up, I thought it said scrub. So I'm thinking it's like a really, really thick sugar or salt scrub. But it's not. It is actually liquid and it has some beads in it. So my review of this is basically that I don't like it. <laughs> Um, because I don't know if you can really see that, but it got like the little beads in there and then I'm going to try to, that's how it looks. Uh oh, and as you can see, it's all liquid. It's not like an actual scrub. I'm trying to see if you can see this. That's my son in the background. Okay. I'm trying to get it in focus. So, and the other one I have is like a lavender and citrus. And I actually love the smell, but I did not like it. And it actually um, was like crusting around the top. I think it had opened or something. Maybe somebody opened it in the store. I'm not sure. But I definitely would be throwing these away because I, I really want something that really likes to foliate my skin. So, that is my review of that. That's something that I got a while back. Um, like I said, I'm gonna, um, in this video, I'm gonna talk about some of the beauty products that I got. So, uh, let's see what I'm gonna start with. Um, da, 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 da. So, I heard somebody say this in their video, and they talked about how Dollar Tree has, like, name brand stuff. So, I love that about Dollar Tree, but on top of that, I love when they have the good name brand products like elf and you probably will hear me talk about elf a lot i actually want to do a video on elf because i have um quite a few of their products so but i got this i just wanted to try it because i definitely want to get like more lip liners um and this comes with the pencil sharpener i already got like two of these from elf by the way as well um but i guess this will have its own sharpener and as you can see it's like a burgundy color I also got this, and as you can see, it says new. And y'all, speaking of manifesting, I don't even really know what the premise, I think I know what it's about, but um, well, I don't have like a complete understanding of manifesting, but from, my, from what I do gather, you basically kind of manifesting things into existence. And y'all, when I tell y'all, I actually just saw this on their website. And I put it on my wish list to come back and get later. Then I saw it in the store. And I'm not sure how much it actually costs on their website. But for this to cost a dollar is a good, um, it's a good, you know, a good, a good buy. Um, this is a Shape and Stay Wax Pencil. It's clear. Hey, hold on, y'all.
okay sorry about that but i was talking about this shape and stay wax pencil i wanted to try this because um i don't really do a lot with my eyebrows but what i the, what i do do is i put like the clear gel on them to kind of help them stay down and to kind of i guess help them look a little a little um just make them look a little bit better but i do need to arch them more often um but I'm thinking this would be better than the actual clear gel that I use. Um, it does have vitamin E in it. And it says that you can basically draw this on your eyebrows and brush them into place. And then you can either wear this alone or you can wear this after applying like the little tint to it. And by the way, you guys, if you guys want me to actually do like a review of me trying these products, I'm down for that as well. I might do that anyways, but let me know if that's something that you really want me to do. So that's that. I picked this too because um, what it says is hydrating lipstick. And LA Colors, I talked about this in my last video as well. LA Colors is a good brand. Um, This has vitamin E and alloy in it. And I think this is kind of like a natural color. So, um, let me see what it says. <clears throat> well, I wanted to try it because um, my lips are like always dry or like they're always chapped. So, I wanted, to, I just want to see if it's going to help my lips feel a little bit more moisturized. Because the other lipsticks that I have, um, I, I have to either like put primer on or either um, put chapstick on before I put on my lipstick. Or just make sure that I um, scrub my lips so that it won't be like cracked or anything when I put on the lipstick. Oh, excuse me. But yeah, I wanted to just try this to see how it works. Next thing. And by the way, this is not Miami Colors. I am a Rattler for life, okay? Somebody had saw me in the, um, somebody had saw me in the store, and they and they was about to beat me up. They were like, "Are you a Miami fan?" And I'm just like, "Nah, bro, I'm Rattler." <laughs> but anyways, um, I wanted to try this as well. Um, this is a cleansing jelly facial balm. Her, I'm coughing. Okay. Um, side note about this. I love when companies or products are marketed well. I'm all about marketing. Like, this is probably a bad trait for me to have. But I'll be buying stuff if it's, like, my favorite color. Like, if it's a pink pen, I'll buy it just because it's pink or because it writes good. But I'll be buying stuff just because it looks good or it looks different. So, I really like how they package this. Um, it kind of reminds me of like um, getting a prescription or like um, those multivitamins that they put in like a bag. I think I might have seen an ad on Instagram or something like that. But this is what it reminded me of. They do have different kinds. This is not the only one. But I just wanted to try this because I like getting stuff that I actually need for my face. So um, I just wanted to try it. And this has ginseng, vitamin A, and alloy in it. Um, it says that it awakens your skin and cleanses away the blah. <laughs> um, so I guess it just awakens and just um, awakens and cleanses your skin. But this is how it looks. It's not like a very thick gel, as you can see. It is kind of watery. This is how the top looks. This, I think this was like opening the package a little bit because it was leaking out a little bit, but it wasn't like I tore it. So, um, just, it had this on it. Let me see how it comes out. So, it is kind of thick. It ain't, it ain't too liquidy. So, I'm looking forward to using this. I could definitely smell it. I think that is the ginseng that's smelling. Maybe it's the aloe, I don't know. But I'll probably be using this for like a day, a special day. Maybe if I'm like putting on makeup or something, I'll probably use this. It's that one. 
So, uh, 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 um. Okay, so if you watch my last video, I talked about how I got a facial serum. And it's the same, um, I guess this would be the scent, or it's the same the same thing. This is coconut and rose milk in my facial serum, which is the oil that you put on your face. It's also coconut and rose milk. And this is also coconut and rose milk. So this is facial mist. I'm glad that I actually saw this. I actually want to get else facial mist as well because um I just wanna I'm I'm I just wanna try different ones. I know Elf has like the, the one that makes you have like a dewy face that's in the pink pack. I wanna get that one. Um this one, like the facial serum, it hydrates, nourishes, and soothes. So, and um, this is the one that I already have from e.l.f. This is a hydrating coconut mist. Um, it hydrates your skin or refreshes makeup. So, sometimes if I'm just wearing, wearing like no makeup and I just kind of like do my normal skincare routine, after I put on my moisturizer, I put this on and then I kind of like, massage it in or like use my roller to massage it in um because i like stuff that really hydrates my face um and i love this as you can see i've had this for a while now and as you can see i barely you know i'm not even i guess this is halfway so i still got a lot left to use i usually do like a ch -ch -ch -ch. so you actually don't use a lot unless you like you're using it every day but I love this because the scent, um, the coconut scent is not very strong. It's like a light scent. And so is this one. So I think what I'm going to do is when I, whenever I use my facial serum, I'm going to put this on. But, um, but yeah, you can use like the mist to kind of give like a little glow or like a dewy glow. Or as it says, you can use it to kind of refresh your makeup. Cause especially like when I use matte makeup, um, well, usually I put on moisturizer, obviously, before I put on my makeup. But sometimes you can see, like, the lines. Or oh, I, I just want my makeup. I don't want my makeup looking cakey. So sometimes I do put this on there. But this, I didn't get this from Dollar Tree. I just got this from Elf. Okay, this is the other thing. This is hand cream. And I'm glad that I saw this as well. Because um I actually have been looking for, I actually have been wanting to get some hand cream. Um, what are you doing? Huh? What are you doing? He just wants all my attention. But, um, and this came in a pack of two. So this is very good. Um, you can, it's definitely convenient. You can put this in your purse and go, or maybe put it in your jacket pocket and go. I definitely wanted to get some of this, um, because... I wash my hands a lot and they're always dry and I'm always like looking for lotion to put on my hands. Sometimes I just be like hurrying out the door and I don't have any. So I'll be walking outside with ashy hands, y'all. Hey, LJ. I think somebody is sleeping. So y'all, I'm going to try to do this video. I'm trying to finish this video because uh, I don't record this thing too many times. Come on. Wait, there it go right there. Somebody is sleeping. But okay, yeah. And um, actually, I think the brand that I had last time was the Vaseline brand. They make like the lotion and then the hand cream as well. Um, they make hand cream that's specifically for your hands. So I really like that and, and I'm glad I got the hand cream. Um, you got it, man? Um, I'm trying to see what else did I get? Oh, so this is the other, so I guess this um, company has a line as far as this scent and the coconut and rose milk, 
because um this was like the other scent that they have they also have this in facial um they also have this in the facial serum they also have this in the facial mist this is um vanilla sugar and raspberry and they also have um bath bombs in this flavor or this scent and that scent and then um i'm trying to think what else i think they got like actual lotion and um soap but i'm not gonna get that from there um you got it man out of the side um uh, so i decided to try this because it says that it cleanses and purifies um and that is the main reason why i didn't get a facial serum because i was like i don't know if i really need that for my face to cleanse and purify i don't know but i decided to try the wipes because this is i think this is definitely good like after i take my makeup off and if you saw my first video i mean my previous video before i did before this one um this is a first for me because i just talked about how i don't like when i find something that's good i don't even try other brands i just keep using that one but i'm gonna try this and i'm gonna see how it does as far as taking off my makeup and side note i'm not sure don't judge me y'all but i'm not sure if um there's a difference hey 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 come on somebody in the bathroom too Ugh. um but i'm not sure if there's a difference between facial wipes and makeup removal wipes um i want to look into it but my thinking is facial wipes is more so like if you just want to like cleanse your face like let's say you go exercise something and you just want to wipe your face down that's what i'm thinking this is for but i am going to use it for when i do my makeup as well so that's that one. Um, somebody used the bathroom. That's why he was in there crying. That's why he was in there crying because he used the bathroom. Okay. Let me see what else did I get. Um, so I just got some soap today. This was today. That other stuff I just showed you I got yesterday. I got this. I just wanted to try... The different kinds that they had. This is activated charcoal. And this is apple blossom with cinnamon leaf oil. They actually do all smell good. Um, there's some other stuff that I got as well. Let me see if I can pull it out with this boy hanging on me. Right here. So I got this as well. These are cleansing nose strips. So they remove blackheads and they unclog pores. And I just want to try it. See how well it works. I'm trying to make sure it's not like blurry for you all. I think that's clear. And then I also got this. Try a mask. Another mask. And then, this is something else I just wanted to try. Basically, for your eye to eye tattoo. I actually want to see what it looks like. Um, I got this. This is not necessarily a beauty product. But I got this because um you could actually use this for like your skin. Sometimes I use it to actually I've used it before to remove makeup because I saw um is it Serena? I think it's yeah, I think it's Serena. She did a video about how she like her um skincare routine and she uses this to moisturize and also to remove makeup. And it actually does work. Um, I wanna do a video about that later. But I also use this um I also use coconut oil to put around my son's neck because um, when he's drooling, it gets like stuck under his neck and then his 
um, neck starts turning red and stuff like that. So let's see. Let me make sure that's all. I think that's all. I think that's all. Just trying to make sure here. Yep, that's all, y'all. That's all. Um, again, if y'all want me to um, to do a review, like when I'm actually trying the products, just let me know. If you like the products in here, or if you want to see more videos, just comment below. Make sure you subscribe and share my videos. And I will see you next time, y'all. Thank you for watching.